On the ice now, this is Rika Hongo of Japan, sixth after the short program. She had two solid seasons of international competition before her results dipped last year. She was top 10 at Worlds in 15 and 16, but dropped to 16th in Helsinki. Opening combination. Very nice. Triple flip, triple toe. Easy triple sow cow right in front of the judges. Triple Lutz, weight gets to the outside on the landing. Jump combination into the second half bonus. Double axle, triple toe, double toe. A little close to the wall, but hanging on to the triple loop. Flip, double toe, a little tight on the landing of the flip. It's so important to hit these big passes late in the program. Jumping past double axle, squeaks it out. Rika Hongo doing just enough to make it tight across the leaderboard. Well, like Karen Chan, she had an opportunity to move up in the standings. She was just four and a half points from the podium after the short. We'll see what the judges thought when we return to our live coverage at Skate Canada.
Rika Hongo fighting for one of just two spots for the Olympics for Japanese ladies and arguably about seven in competition for those two spots. And I feel that Rika doesn't get the buzz as some of her teammates, a lot of hype around Marin Honda, Wakaba Higuchi, Mai Mihara. These skaters have done so much, but you overlook Rika very easily. She's been very steady over the past few years. I know that she didn't have her best skate at the World Championships, but she generally goes out and does just enough. She's always in contention to these Grand Prix podiums, and she's a very powerful skater. She doesn't have the lines or the elegance on the ice, but she gets through the difficult passes, and she's not really shown us any sort of meltdown, and that consistency could be a factor when there's only two spots for these Japanese ladies. That's the third best free skate we've seen today. Not enough to catch Wagner or Honda, so Rika Hongo in third place. And that technical score came way down. So you have to think losing some levels, losing some rotation on some of those landings as well. Here you see the standings, Wagner holding the lead with four ladies still to skate.